Hey everyone, it's Jay. Um, here. It's March, still kind of cold out. Looks nice out, but so cold. Water temperature is cold. We had a lot of flooding here in Oregon, so it's been hard to fish. But um, just here to show you some stuff with my kayak, real quick, and let you know I can't wait to get out in the water and catch some fish for y'all. Go over some tricks and whatnot. But my main thing is to show you that. Even if you don't have a ton of money, you can still build a pretty cool kayak, a little fishing vessel for yourself. So, just want to show you some modifications I made to the kayak, and um, yeah, I'm reporting from my little two-bedroom apartment here in Oregon. So, um, over the past two years, this is what I built. So, let's check it out. So let's start at the front of the boat here. I've got a Lowrance 3X Elite um, fish finder, and that's worked really good. I think I got it for about $100 off Amazon, and it came with the transducer. Um, obviously, I built the arm, and there's a flagpole holder that I use for several different things on the kayak, but um, some PVC that I built, a little arm to connect the transducer, and I can drop that right down. It drops right below the boat. And hey, when I'm pulling into shore, just have to pull it up so I don't hit the transducer on the ground and destroy that. But that's been working out really nice. I added a GoPro camera mount to the back of my Scotty rod holder. Uh, it's just four pretty heavy duty black zip ties and some um, industrial strength Velcro at the bottom just to hold it, just to be sure that bad boy doesn't fall off. But I've got my front rod holder, got this little cup that velcros on and off. I can put some some plastic worms, some hooks, whatever I need, some trout bait. Um, you know, easy access. I don't have to keep going down in my bag that I keep next to my legs. So that's cool. I've got the oar holders and all these are just some wall hangers from Home Depot. And they used to have an orange rubbery thing on the hook, but I just took that off. Um, but that works out really nice for when you're kayaking, you want to stop and you see a fish jump or you got a fish on, you just throw it on those hooks real quick. You don't have to try to, you know, use the elastic on the side of the boat and take a lot of time doing that. I've got my kayak seat that I bought and I've just got it Velcroed there and Velcros onto the seat. And then on back, I've got some snaps, so I can snap it on and off. And that just went right over the original seat, and I got really lucky. It just fit really nice, and uh, my butt is extremely happy with that one. So that was a good move. Come around here. I'll show you the dry box that I have. This is what runs the fish finder. And it's just got, you put a 12-volt, um, 10-amp battery right in there, and I... I did all that, the wiring in there, and you can see that on my Google Plus page. It's not the best ever, but it's, it works. I could have probably made another one and made it look a little nicer, but on-off switch. And then right underneath up here, I've got some tubing where I can put my wiring, and I don't have to worry about that getting in the way. So that works really nice. I've got my pontoons that I've had on there. That was after the first year I went to set the hook and almost flipped the kayak. I wasn't having that again, so these have actually worked out really good, giving me that extra stability. Got two more rod holders in the back, one for my rod, one for my little net here. And then I've got my pole with the, uh, all these three are held on by the flagpole holder with my PVC and it holds my GoPro when I'm not, when I don't have it on the stick. And then the last thing, are the wheels I built. So I built those so I can move it around. Um, parking is kind of tough in Oregon when you find a good spot so you need to haul it around and I had one before it's just really bulky so I cut it down and got different wheels from Harbor Freight and so it works out really nice so yeah I think that it's a nice little ride. Like I said it's been a couple years in the making but I got it to where I absolutely love it. So, thanks for checking me out. I hope you watch my YouTube channel, check out my Google Plus page, 
and I'll be updating all summer with some nice bass fishing, whatever else I can get my my hook into. So thanks for watching. Bye.